Hey everyone, this is Tristan with Cedar Ridge Campers. Behind me is a 2024 Vega 2.0 XT. We're gonna do a little walk around video of this trailer. We're gonna start up front, so let's get started. Starting up front here, this is the XT, so it has the Cruise Master DO35 articulating hitch with handbrake. The handbrake enables you to be able to lock the, the brakes on the trailer so you do not need wheel chocks. When you pull into a campsite, you can just use it. It also comes in handy when you're rolling your trailer around. If you're um, rolling it into your garage or something, if it's kind of a down a hill or something, you can use it to use the brakes so you won't run yourself over anything. Talking about rolling your trailer around, we got the Arc off-road jack. This jack is awesome. You can roll it pretty much around on any dirt or anything. Very nice for moving your trailer around. Also up front here, we have the seven pin connector. Every one of our Vega trailers comes with a seven pin connector. And that enables you to charge your battery off of your tow vehicle via DC to DC charge controller that is built into the trailer. This also controls the electric brakes and all your trailer lighting. Moving down the tongue, we got a storage platform on the Vega XT. Um, often we used to mount the propane tank on this platform, but we now have moved the propane tank into the custom front storage box. That's an option if it's something you are interested in. It protects the regulators and everything, and then it frees up this space up here to be able to mount a bike rack or just strap down any firewood or whatever you have to strap down to the front here. Moving down a little farther, this one has our custom front storage box, and we do have a few different options which you can mount up on the front of the tongue. We have just a cargo rack or a tongue box, but majority of the people do opt for the custom front storage box. This is where you can store your refrigerator as well as your propane tank if you option it that way. One thing with the custom front storage box we can also do, um, we got the Roam box mounted on top of this one. This is the Roam 95 liter. And this is a very common option, the way people configure their trailers quite a bit. But there is a few other options we can mount on top of this box as well. We can do um, dual one-up bike racks as well as a cargo rack so you can just strap down gear to the top of the box. Moving inside here, we got our Truma 60 liter refrigerator. It's on 500 pound drawer slides, which slides out. And we have just now redesigned this custom front storage box to be able to fit up to the Iceco 60 liter dual zone. Um, we had to make it a little bit wider, so now we can fit that refrigerator in this box as well. Moving down the side here, we're gonna just talk about a few of the things that you can see here. We're gonna start with the frame and chassis of this trailer. So first thing you'll notice on our chassis is this two inch rock slider. It's welded to the frame, so it's structural and you can actually bounce the trailer off of that and you will not hurt the trailer at all or the chassis. That protects the corners of your trailer as well as the chassis extends past the, the body here and it gives you a little step and it protects your fender as well. Um, if you run that into a tree, it's not gonna bend it or anything. You can pretty much just bounce the trailer off of that. That's one thing that is different about our trailers compared to a lot of the competition on the market. We actually make our frame and rock sliders um, usable. They're not just there for looks. Um, mounted up on the side here is a full-size spare tire. Um, we run a 265-75 R16 on all the Vega XTs. This is a little smaller. It's about a 32-inch tire. Also, we run the Timbren 3,500-pound HD suspension. This has a 5,200 pound spindle so that you do not need to worry about breaking that. Another thing with our chassis is we run all of our wires and hoses up inside the frame so there's nothing to ever get caught up underneath the trailer uh, while you're going down the trail. Another thing what sets us apart is our bedlinered exterior. And there's a couple reasons we do that. And the first reason is um, it gives 100% seamless exterior, um, sealing up everything, and it actually adds a lot of strength to the trailer as well. And it, it is scratch resistant, so you never have to worry about pinstriping your trailer as you're driving down the trail. Another thing that sets us apart is our large 
30 by 36 inch turnover land doors. We got this door custom built for us. We wanted it oversized so that it's easy to get in and out of the trailer. Up top, you'll see our roof rack, and this is a roof rack we build here in-house. Um, it has T-Track channel where you can mount pretty much any accessories to it. This one has a OVS 180 degree awning. This roof rack can hold up to 500 pounds. Another thing that's standard on the Vega XT is our leveling jacks in the back. And these are jacks that you can remove. Um, we've tried the little jacks in the back, the little crank up ones and the little levelers, but they just get full of dirt and it's just been a mess. So we, we put these just regular tongue jacks in the back on each side and you actually can lift the whole trailer off with them and everything. So if you need to change a tire on the trail, just pull out your jack and lift up your trailer. Moving around to the back here, uh, the first thing you'll notice is our solar panel. And this year we have actually have the option to upgrade to a 150 watt panel. Standard, it comes with a 100 watt panel. Um, this one is the 150 watt panel from Lightleaf. Another thing here on the exterior of the rear is our water tank fill is back behind our license plate uh, bracket here. And you can fill that with just any garden hose. It's a gravity feed tank. The tank holds up to 23 gallons. We're gonna move into the galley here. Open it up, on each corner we have a compression latch so it pulls it down onto the, seals really well and seals it all up. Back here, the first thing you'll notice is our big stainless steel countertop here and our HDPE cabinetry. New for this year, we are now offering the black HDPE along with the gray. All of our cabinet doors are now on little trigger latches. That way they do not come open while you're traveling down bumpy, bumpy roads. Here in the middle, still running the Red Arc Red Vision system. This also includes the Manager 30, which is your charge controller, so you can charge from DC to DC, charging off your vehicle. Also AC to DC, so you can charge offshore power as well as the solar charge controller. Out the passenger side here, we got our stove sink combo. It's got a sink which is a collapsible basin, and we found this to just work the best. Um, that way you can just take it out and go dump your dirty water or dump it into a jug, however you see fit to dispose of it. It's got our sink plumbed directly into it, so you always have hot and cold water right at your sink there. Also have a cutlery drawer down here on the stove sink combo slides out the bottom to keep your cutlery right there handy by your stove. Talking about the stove, we run the Cook Partner 18 inch stove on all of our trailers. We found it to just be an indestructible stove, just works good. We try to keep the maintenance down to a minimal on everything. So basically everything that we run, just basically you never have to worry about it. One other thing with the stove sink combo we also have is a little, come standard is a little countertop piece or cutting board which you can set in there. If you're cooking here on the stove sink combo and you just want a little extra counter, counter space um, beside your stove, you can have that just right here. Then one thing, you can also move that and use it on your stainless steel countertop so you're not cutting right on your stainless steel. Um, just a nice little cutting board here as well. On the driver's side here, we got our pantry drawer. This is a large deep drawer with dividers. Um, that way you can just store um, pantry type items, um, canned foods, um, there's a lot of storage in this drawer. And this is also the standard configuration now for 2024. The stove sink combo comes out the passenger side and the pantry drawer comes out the driver's side. We were getting a lot of customers wanting it this way. 
because of the shower being on this side and that way you can have your shower room and everything set up over here um, and then cook on passenger side. Talking about the shower system, we are now offering the European style um, shower mixer on the outside. Um, basically you just plug it in and then this is the mixer as well as your water outlet. Um, you just basically turn the dial here to get hotter or colder water. There's also an on off on the shower head itself. Talking about hot water systems, and we got the Truma Combi built into this so that you always have hot water on the go. So the, the water tank holds about 20 gallons and the Truma Combi holds about, oh, about three, not quite three. So you got 23 gallons of onboard water at all times. Before we move into the interior, uh, we're gonna show you we have our AC port right here. So if you have a zero breeze or an EcoFlow air conditioner, you can set that either on top of the fender and blow it into your trailer, or you can also, we found it works to set it right up underneath the trailer here and pipe the pipe around into the vent. That way you can have an air conditioned cabin. Moving into the interior of the Veg XT, uh, we have a full queen size bed. So it's 78 inches long and 58 inches wide. There's about 39 inches of headroom in here, so plenty of room to be able to sit up. Large storage cabinets, and you've noticed now for the 2024 model, we switched them all to black. They're all black HTP. And the reason we did that, um, we found some of our um, older laminated material that we were using just not to be quite as durable as we wanted it to be. So we switched to the HDP, which is nearly indestructible. Just another thing that we're just trying to eliminate any maintenance or issues down the road um, with the HDP it just seems to be almost an indestructible material so um, also with just a full 100% composite body um, there's no wood in it at all so if ever you somehow dump water inside it or whatever you never have to worry about um, any wood rotting um, you know if there's if you all of a sudden for some reason get a bunch of moisture inside your trailer there's just nothing to ever go wrong um, inside of our trailers in the middle here is kind of the control center for the for your lights um, you got some usbs usb c's as well and then our porch light switch and a 12 volt switch and then some ac outlets um, which run off of the inverter got two large storage compartments in the middle and then large storage doors on each side and we've kind of set up this cabinetry to be able to you can pretty much put enough clothes in there to last about a week so there's plenty of storage in them to to get you off grid for for quite a while also on the cabinets in here are the trigger latches as well so you never have to worry about your doors coming open down below the cabinetry we got our truma combi controls that is your water heater and furnace so this is a fully heated cabin you never have to worry about getting cold in the winter. And then with the Max Air fan up top, this is a truly four season camper. And with the AC on the side and the Max Air fan for in the summer, and then the Truma Combi to keep you warm in the winter. And it also has about an R5 insulation value. So there is a decent amount of insulation to keep you warm in the winter. Another thing is with four season campers, a lot of people wonder about the water system. And this water system is actually built right up underneath the bed and it's in the heated area so you don't ever have to worry about it freezing up. We did go an extra little bit to, to make sure that never happens and we put a heated blanket up underneath the water tank as well um, which will turn on whenever it gets down into freezing temperatures. Up front in the cabin up here we have reading lights on each side. Um, they're a little touch touch reading light um, you touch the ring once and it turns blue and then you touch it again and it turns on and you also can touch it for a little bit longer and it it dims down there's also a USB up front here to be able to charge your phone on the little shelf up here large stargazer windows is about a two foot by three foot window and this comes standard with all of our Vega 2.0s this adds just a lot of you know if you're claustrophobic or something this just adds a lot of light and it also is just a nice place to look at the stars. We also do have a, a cover for that, just a magnetic cover. 
just magnets up to the to the window. I'll demonstrate that here. So you got a blackout shade over your window there, as well as it adds an extra layer of insulation. Doors also have blackout shades on them. Um, they slide down and then your screen slides up. But you got full blackout so you can sleep in if you're up north in the summer sometime or you just want complete privacy. We got that capabilities. Talking about our windows a little bit, these are a fully insulated turnoverland window. So they open outwards. They're an awning style window so you can have them open while it's raining. And if you want a little bit of security, you can also lock it in and you can have it just cracked a little bit. So if you have your vent fan on, um, but you don't want your window to be able to, or somebody be able to get into your window, um, you can just crack it a little bit and still have some airflow. Well, we're in the interior here and we're gonna talk a little bit about some storage. We have the cabinets and everything, but we also do have storage up underneath the bed. There is about a pretty good area of storage underneath there. It's a nice area to store towels, uh, jackets, whatever you have, what you aren't getting to all the time. It's just a nice little extra storage area on the interior of the trailer. Thank you for watching this walk around video of the 2024 Vega 2.0 XT. If you want to find out more about our trailers, you can find us on the web at cedarridgecampers.com. We also have a link of that in the description below. And you can follow us for updates on Instagram and Facebook as well as YouTube, all at Cedar Ridge Campers.